Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Elect, uh, Extender for Electra Jailbreak. Um, it's pretty simple, I already have a video on how to do it on Windows, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the Mac using CyberDoc and uh, Terminal. Um, I do realize the link was removed, so I did upload it to my Dropbox. I updated the original link on my original video, and I'll have an updated one on this. Uh, but once the old URL comes back up, I'll put that one up um, just because that way you can get the latest and get the greatest one. But for now, that's what we got to do. So first thing, you open up CyberDuck, you say open connection, uh, you change this to SSH. Uh, the server is the IP on your iPhone. So for me is this, the root, uh, username is root and password is Alpine, but I changed mine. You should change yours as well. You press connect. You should get a little message saying, um, "Do you allow or not?" You're just gonna say allow, and you gotta go all the way to the root directory. So right here, and once you download the um, Electra app, you just have to double click on it, and it's gonna extract the zip. You put the zip right here. You don't rename it or anything and while it's transferring you open up terminal so you just go on this uh, spotlight you type in terminal and it opens up you say ssh uh, root at your iphone's ip so same thing as cyberduck basically and then it's going to say all that you're going to say yes your password like i say it's going to be alpine but mine is different, I just changed it. So once we're doing that, we're gonna wait for this to finish. And I have the commands in the uh, description so you can literally just copy and paste. So we're gonna CD to directory of CD uh, or extender electrified. Then we're gonna change the permissions on the file, chmod uh, plus x uh, dot slash install dot sh and then you're gonna do bash dot slash install dot sh and it's gonna give you I'm not gonna do it because I already did it and it's gonna go through a bunch of text at the end it's just gonna say uh, you're fine you're just gonna need to respring but do UI cache it's going to take about 30 seconds and then do kill all springboard and it should show up on your on your uh, springboard. So thanks for watching. Again, do comment, do subscribe and share this video. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. Um, have a great day.